Welcome to another lesson from our leg action crash course. So here we will be learning how to use legs in a correct way. So what we already I show you before, we will gonna go back and do it over and over again. So let's take sideways to the mirror or to the camera. And I recommend to open feet slightly, to, it's gonna help. Just small turnout, heels together, St uh, straight knees, tummy in, chest up. So just take a look at your body having a beautiful straight leg, a straight line. Now, imagine there is a right a red uh, line going through your leg, through the middle of the leg, all the way down. So this is a red line. So I will demonstrate on mana here, like this is the line. Just focus on this line. So because this is course about the legs, we're gonna focus on the legs mainly. And now this line at this moment is staying on the middle of the foot. So if this is a manas foot, maybe let's turn out so they can see it. So this is a middle of the foot. This will be a ball of the foot. This will be a heel. So now, because our line is on the middle of the foot, we can feel quite balanced, feel free and good. Now let's try to take this line slightly forward to the ball of the foot. And what happens, you'll see that your body weight changing position and we feel more pressure to the, fo to the foot. Now go back to the middle. So this is a comfortable position. And in this position, if you're able to lift your toes, it's kind of good. So that's safe position, position of most balance. And now let's take this line to the heel. And I'll go back to the middle, go back to the ball of the foot. It's very small changes. It's almost feel like you fall, but you can definitely control it. And for us, it's very important to understand those three positions. So heel position, middle, and ball of the foot. Now, if we would like to take it to the next level, make it feel a little bit more, use your hands as a counterbalance, almost like you're touching wall behind you. So you can feel that your legs traveled towards the ball of the foot. And this will help you to, to balance. Then bring your legs close to your uh, legs, middle, and now put your legs forward as your legs traveling to the heel. And you will feel that it's a little bit on your legs, will feel like a little bit stretch here on the back muscles and the knees will feel very straight. And now all of these positions are very important, but for the girls, because you dance in a beautiful skirt, this position when your legs are on the heel will be extremely important because this is position on, of the most beauty. But the whole idea, you're in each step, you will travel through all this position back and forth in one step. So we will go to position number one, heel, number two, middle, number three, and then you'll go three, two, one. Travel front, travel back. Now, as we do this, let's put our left leg back. And as we put our left leg back, put the back leg we call free leg. The front leg is a standing leg. And the back leg will be on the ball of the foot. Therefore, the standing leg will be on the heel. And that's where we have to start all our movements. And now by using your back foot, turn out and rotate, put your leg with your body weight on the middle and roll back to the heel. Middle, heel. Middle, and now use your leg to the maximum, your back leg, and now your leg getting to the front. And here you feel really too strong, straight leg. Yes, let's return. Heel, middle, ball of the foot. And now the most important, this is where the essence of the leg action happens. As your free leg will travel forward, your standing leg should retreat backward to the middle and then heel. So as this leg here, our standing leg is very much should be on the heel and that's created that beautiful arch. But same time, remember our spine will be continuously moving forward. So if you're talking about standing leg, our standing leg move from the heel to the middle to the ball of the foot, Spine continue forward as our standing leg retrieves from the ball of the foot to the middle to the heel. And only then we take a step with a strong, still feeling 
like we're staying towards the heel. And now we land on the front heel and the process repeats. So in each step, you would go through the, we can say even six positions. We go one, two, three, three, two, one. And in this case, you'll have a super straight leg as they change. So here I'll try to, uh, with Mana a little bit, train her so you can see how it works. So if you understand this principle, your legs will look very, very beautiful all the time. So first of all, start on the heel better. Yes, start on the heel, very good. Now through the connection with your partner, drift your standing leg to the ball of the foot. And now as you wanna move back, move this leg back as you move forward. Move this leg back to the heel as this leg passing. So now you see you have a very perfect, beautiful straight leg and continue forward. Yeah, a little bit bigger step to slide, boom. So now we talk about this is we have a new standing leg, her right leg at this point. So now she will use her back leg to go to the middle, to the ball of the foot. Now this is where the most, the critical moment, the end of the step. Now, as soon as this knee bends, her standing leg should actually uh, drift slightly back to the middle of the foot and to the heel. So here she will have this kind of sensation of knee pulling back. And here there is already choice, artistic choice, how you want to take step. If you want to take very beautiful, long extended walk, you can still push this leg to the heel as you extend front leg, extend front leg and slide by still using this leg to going towards the heel. Yeah, and you can slide a little bit to do extended walk. Very good. So practice your leg actions and see you at the next lesson.